Hi guys, this is Christy of Full Woman Co. and today I bring you a quiet paint with me video. I did this painting in preparation for Inktober last year. So I did Peachtober 2023 and this was just um, a tryout for one of the prompts. I ended up not using it but I still really enjoyed how it turned out. Today I wanted to talk to you about something that's been on my mind a lot which is how much pressure we get from social media all the time to find our art style and be perfect from the get-go. We have so much pressure coming from everywhere, from people that have been doing this for years, um, that I just feel like I've lost um, track of my own growth as an artist. And yeah, I just wanted to... Um, chat to you guys about this. Maybe you are also going through something. So today I just wanted to let you know that it's okay to not be good at something. It's okay to start exactly where you are and just take it slow. It, it has been taking me about four years to be comfortable with my own art and I never expected it to take so long. When we see people on Instagram and YouTube filming their painting progress, we immediately assume they have been doing this for seconds. We see fragments of their life and we see them making beautiful art in literally seconds or minutes because our attention span is also so short, right? So we are taking these few seconds or minutes from someone else's progress and our brain just goes like, wow, how can they just instantly get here? Um, I'm not even gonna mention that videos can be sped up, cut, yada yada, but I really wanted to let you know that me as a small artist here on YouTube, of course, I you can take this how you would like, maybe take it with a grain of salt, but I just really think that it's totally okay to be a beginner, and you know, everyone starts somewhere, right? So I am a beginner, maybe you are a beginner as well, or maybe you are a pro already, but you're having a major imposter sh syndrome or art block, um, yeah. Uh, in this video, for example, you can see that I really messed up the beginning of the video, like the first few clips were such a bad quality, my hand was in front of the camera all the time, so the first few clips you can see that I start um, with the basics of the painting already done. In case you didn't notice that, um, well, I'm here to tell you that that happened because I am still terrible at filming my painting progress uh, process, I mean. So right now with my YouTube channel, what I'm trying to achieve is definitely to learn how to film, to learn how to capture the moments that take me from a blank page to a full painting. Um, and I want to capture that in a less beginner way, but right now with my abilities and my skills, I'm just not able to do that. So I'm having major imposter syndrome in relation to how I'm dealing with my um, YouTube channel growth, growth, how I'm filming my videos, how I'm editing. But again, it is okay to not be good at something, right? We all start somewhere and I feel like we are so used to see the highlight reel of someone else's work and someone else's, um, what we take as their finish line, because it's simply where we want it to be. Um, but that's completely taken out of context because it takes away all the effort that other artists have to get to the, where they are. And yeah, I just really wanted to open a space where you can feel like you belong just by being comfortably beginner. In this painting, I am doing a landscape. 
inspired by a picture I saw on Pinterest and I I was happy with how it turned out. I was happy with the texture. I do remember while I was going at it, um, I didn't know where to put the elements. I felt really lost as to um, using my Prisma colors on, on gouache. And I just feel like once I start from a place of doubt and feeling paralyzed, I tend to go into a spiral of um, I'm not good at this and what am I even doing, wasting all this time trying. And again, that goes back to what I'm trying to convey with this video, which is uh, I'm not wasting time. I am actually walking the walk and trying my best to show up and try every day to really, really walk the walk to get to where I want to be, which is, man, you know, I don't even know where I want to be. I want to, um, I don't, I don't, I don't know if I want my art to come easily, right? Because if I do all my paintings easily, then, then I'm not growing. I'm not learning anymore. Is that really what I want? I don't know. I feel like I just want to have more fun with my craft and also have more time to spend on my craft. That's another thing is like you're watching 10 minutes of me painting, but did this actually maybe was maybe an hour of my work day and sometimes you know I just feel like I can't have the luxury of spending one hour painting because my days are so, so short so every time I show up to my in my sketchbook and every time I do a painting like this in back of my mind I'm like this has to be worth my while because it's so rare that I have the time to do this so there's just so much pressure um, and I go into this train of thought of like not even being worth again to spend my time here because it's going to be bad or it's not going to be what I expect and so might as well just not do it at all. But man, that is that just feels so wrong to me and I really just want to be able to have one hour paintings not every day but at least twice a week and it's really hard to be in this space where you're still not where you want to be or you're not you feel like you're not good enough but then you also feel like you don't have a lot of time to get there to get to where you want to be so yeah it, there's just so many thoughts that go through my mind and I just wanted to come on here and share those with you. And hopefully that will help not shed some light on anything, but help make you feel less alone in your struggles or in your own self-doubt when you're spending all this wonderful time in your sketchbook doing either meaningful work or, I don't want to say meaningless, but less um, brilliant perfected pieces I do feel like every single page and every single hour that you spend on your sketchbook is getting you to where you want to be so I really hope that if this resonated with you please let me know down below I would love to hear your thoughts on all this um, really the world of spending time doing imperfect work and spending time doubting of your abilities, spending time feeling crappy most of the time about what you're doing because I feel like that's what artists do a lot. And how brave are we that we choose to spend time thinking like that? I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know down below your thoughts and how you are doing. I hope you have a wonderful night. Bye-bye. Also, please like the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel for more. You can also find me on Instagram at Co.